this is the Earth. And right over here we have the Moon. And right now we are standing in a very small model of our solar system. Let's take a walk and see what else we can find. The model of the Earth I had back there was about 6 centimeters across, and the Moon was less than 2 meters away from our planet, so we passed it in just a couple of seconds. But at this speed, anything else is going to take a while. Right now we're headed in the direction of Venus, the closest planet to the Earth, and we'll get there in a couple minutes. But even just getting the Sun would take over 8. Times get much larger if we want to leave our solar system. Just going the closest star system to the Earth, Alpha Centauri, would take more than 4 years. The problem is that I can't walk any faster at least not on this scale, because doing so would break the laws of physics. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, there is a universal speed limit, and we set up the scale so that average walking speed would be about equal to that limit, 300 million meters per second. And that limit is the speed of light. The speed of light is one of the most important numbers in astronomy, but it's also led to a very confusing idea, light time. You may have heard astronomers describe distances in units of light years or light minutes, and that doesn't make a lot of sense at first. Years and minutes are units of time, not distance. There's a problem with distance, though. Space is incomprehensibly vast. Units like miles and kilometers just don't work. Even Alpha Centauri is 40 trillion kilometers away. This has led astronomers to use a couple different units over the last few hundred years to try and measure these vast distances. For a while, the astronomical unit, the distance between the Sun and the Earth, was used, but even that was just too small. Our own galaxy is 6 billion astronomical units across. The first known use of light time was in 1838. Astronomer Friedrich Bessel is measuring the distance to a nearby star, 61 Cygni, which is about 700,000 astronomical units away. He believed that the time it took light to reach the star from the Earth, which he thought was about 10 years, was another interesting number to include. Over time, light time began, began to be used even more, especially once it became known that light travels at a constant speed in a vacuum. Today, light time is a very popular way of measuring distance, and hopefully this scale can help to show why. Right now we've been walking for about 2.3 minutes, and we're finally about to arrive at Venus. This means that as a unit of distance, Venus is 2.3 light minutes away because it took light 2.3 minutes to get here. If we kept walking, we'd reach Mercury in about 5 minutes, making it 5 light minutes away. The Sun's about 8.3. Going beyond our solar system, some of the closest stars to the Earth are between 4 and 10 light years away and our own galaxy is 100,000 light years across. Now, there's no way to travel these great distances now, but who knows, maybe one day we'll traverse the stars as quickly as we were able to walk to Venus.